boy déjà il y But it's to build the confidence of the people. Of course, we are all aware that August 10, there was an insurrection, violent insurrection. And so um, there is that fear in the minds of people. Some people are even afraid to come out. Some do not have confidence. There is so much apathy around. So what we are now doing is to build that confidence, to let them know that the security forces are around. Because our job in the police is to provide, um, we are responsible for internal security. We look in. And then we have the military, they are responsible for external aggression. So what we normally do when there is a crisis, especially if we are overwhelmed in providing security for the, 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 the city or um, the state itself, internally. So what we do, we have a scheme known as um, the military aid to civil authority. And under that one, we have the military aid to civil power. So this is where you can bring in the military and they will come and give support. But even though when they come and give support, the gold and the gold is where the decisions are taken understand that one still remains to be under the control of the police so we work in synergy we work together we work cooperatively making sure that uh, there is security for the whole country i am colonel abu bakar sidigba director of public relations and information of the ministry of defense very quickly sir the key objective of this exercise is today very simple is a assurance patrol for the public to give them assurance that there is security and there is peace and everybody is to go about his normal business. A joint military and police exercise. We pretty much are aware that when it comes to internal security, the police normally takes primacy. In this case, who is heading this particular exercise? Um, all internal security issues, uh, as you have rightly mentioned, uh, the police have primacy. So for this one, they still have primacy. We are here to support them. Uh, we always support them when there is need. Uh, and this is one uh, we are doing to provide that support, uh, to give assurance to the public that uh, security is assured. Situation is calm. We are on top of the situation. The military is well prepared to support the police where there is need. And uh, we want to assure the general public and the international community that uh, the situation is under control. Thank you, thank you. Are they out the newly promoted Major General um, Fred Alpha, when are the Commander Joint Force? Uh, they with Sam on this particular exercise. General, you're most welcome to Star Television, sir. Thank you very much, my uh, brother. Good. General, why? What you promise now for actually help the police into this exercise? Well, believe say, we and the police and for work hand in hand. In as much as they in charge of internal security, but we still get a role for complementing their efforts. So if you see we're together today, I've allowed make sure say we deliver on the good things because at the end of the day we too want one peace and tranquility for rain. Okay. When, when when we say operational reassurance, is it that everything is normal? Yeah, well we talk about reassurance, it's like something has gone wrong. Uh, one for let us not reflect on what did not go wrong. But again, let's come back to the drawing board. We correct ourselves and let's move, we now bounce back. We know say this stage already now. We don't we don't we don't we don't restore hope. Because if you look around, you see the crowd, you see people they're, they're happy. And I just want to achieve. We don't want a situation where in situation will be chaotic, you know. So we want to follow, make sure I say a lot of people can get hope back and let them come back so that we all can believe together. Okay. What's gonna be your message out there with the to people? Well my message out there, especially to we youth them. I want to make you understand say. I mean, within a transformative nation, we will offer come on board. We don't want people and for things say that the peace and lawlessness go, 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 go be the best option. 
But now everyone, everyone knows that as a citizen, you have a responsibility. A responsibility that we all work together so as we are able to achieve the best of our nation. Today on the 13th of August 2022, and we did yesterday in an open exercise. We saw we see the police and the military they get a joint exercise when I call Operation Reassurance. We all can understand that on Wednesday there was a kind of insurrection where it take place a kind of disturbance. This one creates a, this one creates a very funny situation for the security sector of the country. For Mekengi, a kind of reassurance that everything is stable. We see Usai, the police, them come today with, with the help of the military. They come and talk to the people them for telling us that everything is normal. Then I go back to the business. Nothing, no way will disturb the peace and tranquility of the nation. And we take them from, we take them from the Minister of Defense onto what Usai they call 5 5. They come and talk to the people them and give them a double reassurance that everything is calm, everything is fine, but everybody go into a normal business. We see the newly appointed Chief of Defense Staff when uh, Lieutenant General Peter K. Labahun and the newly appointed Inspector General of Police, they're all here out with a team of police and military that come and talk to the people them and give them the assurance that everything is fine. And this, that's how we end up today, so now the Watalo zone and that's so how we end up with a particular visit where we ensure so we cover and know exactly what it can do.